Alright you guys, Crappie Bass and Brim. And I am here to have a video on the Volcano EPX uh, EPX R RCR uh, 4x4 So I got $150 I paid like 120 for mine uh, Very cool, very fun See the inside of the body, outside plastic, mine chipped right there from where I ran over a stick and it just kind of wedged up in there and chipped it. Yeah, not a big deal, you can buy another body for twenty something dollars. So uh, I'm in the light. So as you can see right here we got the battery and there's usually a little piece of plastic that goes over that but I do not have that connected at the point because mine is currently broke and I have all the small stuff put up. Uh, the wheels are just rubber. You don't have to air them up or anything. They're just rubber wheels. Mine are still near perfect. Um, got good springs. As you can see, you can watch this. Very fun. I put a front bumper on mine off of one of the little cheap RC cars at Walmart. <laughs> I just took those two screws out right there and put them back on with that thing over it. To add a little bit of, I don't know, protection against the front of the body because I tend to run and stuff with that pretty often and I was scared I was going to chip it. So uh, I don't know that much about the mecha mechanics on it. It's pretty complicated. Mine's currently broke. Like I said, I'm gonna have to. I'm either gonna buy another one. I'd like to have like a rock climbing one, but they're pretty expensive. But I'm still looking around. If you know of some cheap ones, around $120, uh, please let me know. And so yeah, I want one that's a bit higher off the ground, but still is good quality. So here's the remote control. It runs on a bunch of double A's. Let me slide the back off. Eight double A's. A lot. The other one is just, you just charge it up. Uh, front, back, or forward, reverse, turn. Turning is very cool with this. Like you just barely turn it and it turns pretty sharp. You got your uh, engine output, I guess you could put it, and steering output. A bunch of switches that I don't know what they do, I just know I've got them all on max. You can see the lights light up. You can turn that on. It's for battery. I don't know why they're both on. It seems like if the battery was dead, the red one would be on. And if the battery was good, the green one would be on, but they're both on. The antenna comes out very far. Gotta be pretty fragile with it. I'll say it's about three feet tall. Two and a half at least. It's very long, extended, but it gives you very far distance, which I like. Or if you just want to play around with it in your bedroom or something, it goes all the way down. Very cool handle. Um, so we'll put the body back on, as you can see it there. It's got a little hole in which the antenna will go over. Right there. Okay. There. So, got some oil uh, stubs, nubs, poles that stick up. They got holes in them that you would put the little metal clips through. Which, as I told you all ago, I've got all the little pieces put up. I'll show you a bit of the spring work. Watch this. That's pretty cool. It'll go all the way up to a little bit bouncing up against the body. The wheels turn pretty wide base. Um, it can take a little bit of water. People have waterproof them and been extremely successful to where they could just dip it down in some water and it would come out just fine. Me. I couldn't figure out how to do that. 
accidentally ran out the road one wet day, drove it into a water puddle. I have no clue what's broke on it because I am not a mechanic on that kind of thing. So I guess I will see you guys later.